Hi everyone, my name is Anya Edwards and I'm a student here at Boston Arts Academy. I'm a senior theater major and the student body president. Thank you all for being here. Before I begin to introduce our speakers, I'd love to shout out the students in the building for creating such beautiful art on the beam that we are putting into the building today. Now, it is my pleasure and honor to introduce Boston's 54th Mayor and U.S. Secretary of Labor nominee. Mayor Walsh has been a champion for Boston Arts Academy and Boston Public Schools, working to ensure an excellent public education for all students. This is underscored by his commitment to updating and modernizing schools facilities, including the BAA building we're topping off today. Born and raised in Dorchester, by immigrant parents, he understands firsthand that a good education opens opportunities and is a critical foundation for every child's future. Please welcome the Honorable Mayor Martin J. Walsh. Thank you very much, Anna. How about a nice round of applause? Anya, actually, she's going to be our MC today. She's a senior here at this school. Um, she, she was in the old school. She's at the new school, temporary new school in Dorchester. And uh, she's going to come back here as a, a proud alum at the new school. So we're, we're psyched. Thank you for that. And, uh, you know, we're building this school for you and a whole bunch of your, your classmates and colleagues. And uh, we're excited about it. So congratulations. You guys are awesome. So another round of applause for the great students at this school. I want to um, I want to thank the the BAA community. We're gonna try and shut that pile drive off, but it's all right. We got it. Where's Gil? Gil Bain's banging away over there. Lee Kennedy's quiet over here, so we'll see what's going on. But uh, I want to thank the the students, the teachers, the staff, the families, um, everyone at this incredible school for your strength and resiliency, your creativity that you've shown throughout this pandemic. Quite honestly, as you've shown throughout the old school. So thank you very much. I want to thank Ann Clark, who's the, the head of our school. Thank you, Ann. How about a round of applause for Ann, our leader? Thank you, that. Thank you, uh, Gilbane. Uh, Danella Clark, who who is uh, who's the head of the foundation, but also uh, just an incredible leader here at the school as well. And uh, she doesn't take no for an answer. So thank you very much, Danella, for your great work. Um, we have with us today, and uh, I know that we have Superintendent Caselius is going to try and make it. I want to thank Superintendent Caselius. I want to thank um, uh, Alex Oliver DeValia, uh, the chair of the Boston Public Schools. Thank you, Alex, for everything. Um, we, we're joined by Kenzie Bach, whose district we're in. City Council Kenzie Bach. Thank you, Kenzie Bach. Where are you? There you are. Uh, City Council Nisha Sabi George. Thank you, City Council Nisha Sabi George. Uh, I'm going to bring up to the podium in a minute City Council President Kim Janey in a minute, who's going to come up here. Uh, Pat Brophy, Brian McLaughlin, uh, all the Boston School Committee, the uh, uh, Mass School Building Authority, Jack, thank you. Uh, Lee Kennedy Construction, uh, Don Cook from Lee Kennedy. Uh, you know, if I miss anyone, I'm sorry. Christine Walsh from Lee Kennedy. Uh, thank you, everybody, uh, for, for being here today. Uh, this is a proud day for the city of Boston uh, here in, in the city. Uh, our renovation of the Boston Arts Academy is one of the most inspiring projects that we've had happen here in the city. I want to thank the Boston Fire Department as well. Uh, thank you very much. Um, this is, uh, I have notes here. I don't really need notes. This is a $125 million project. Are we lifting the beam right now? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let's lift the beam first. Look at the beam go up. Thank you, Local 7 Iron Workers. The iron workers put the beam up and the laborers bring it down. So I don't know what's going on here. We'll see what happens. Um, but anyway, um, so this $125 million project, uh, it's, it's going to have recording studios, dance studios, theaters, lab space, performance space. We're building probably, I think, the, the, the most innovative public arts academy high school in the country right here. Uh, it would not have happened without a lot of people. I want to. I want to give. A, I'm looking at the school building authority. 
give a special shout out to the Mass School Building Authority, Treasurer Deb Goldberg, uh, who is here with us that approved this project. Without all of you and the board, uh, this would not have happened here today. So thank you for that. Um, this project is an exciting project. I'm going to get rid of these notes right now. Um, real quick, a story just to tell. I've told this a couple times. I'm tell it probably a few more times. Back in 2014, when I got elected mayor of Boston, there was two schools, uh, Boston Arts Academy and uh, the Josiah Quincy Upper School. They were in one package. They were going to be built over the expressway. Um, it was going to be, I don't know, at the time, the price tag was a couple hundred million dollars. And to me, it just didn't seem like it was going to happen because it was too complicated. And I brought in, uh, first I brought in the Boston Arts Academy families. And, and I thought it was going to be a brutal meeting because I was telling them that we weren't going to build the Arts Academy over the highway, that, but I promised them that we were going to build a new Arts Academy. So I was preparing for a really bad meeting, and they walked in. Ann was there, and, and, and the, the parents came in, and they looked at me, and they said, that's okay, if, as long as you give us our, your word that we're going to build a new school. And I said, you have my word that it will be the first school that I build uh, as mayor of the city of Boston. A couple days later, I had to bring in the Josiah Quincy parents, and again, I was preparing for the worst and they came in and said the same exact thing. And I'm proud to say that today uh, we're at the topping off of, of this great school, Boston Arts Academy, and we'll be breaking ground on the Josiah Quincy Upper School not too far from now. So I want to thank the school community uh, for waiting. Our kids in Boston deserve the best school. Despite what we read in the paper, we have a great school district. We have great kids. We have great parents. Lee Pelton, thank you, the chair of the board. Thank you, Lee. We have great energy going on in our school district right now. We're going to continue that energy going forward. So um, this isn't the, the ribbon cutting. We'll be more talking later on. I hope I can come back. I will come back in my next role if I get the next role. Uh, but I want to say just thank you to everybody. Um, and I'm going to stop talking because it's cold out. Now I'm going to bring up the president of Boston City Council to say a few words, President Kim Janey. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I want to say thank you to Anya. Thank you so much for doing an amazing job. Uh, my name is Kim Janey, and as president of the most diversity council in Boston's history, I bring you greetings. I want to begin my remarks by thanking Mayor Walsh for his leadership in our city and for his commitment to the Boston Arts Academy community. I know that I speak for everyone here when I say that Boston is strong, Boston is resilient, and Boston is proud. Congratulations to you on your nomination and soon-to-be confirmation. Uh, we know that you will bring the same passion and dedication as you fight for working families as a Secretary of Labor. I also want to thank uh, Chairwoman Alex Oliver Davila, the Boston School Committee, Superintendent Brenda Caselius, uh, Chief Brophy and his team. I want to acknowledge Lee Pelton, thank the entire um, board, all distinguished guests, including my colleagues on the council, uh, Councilors Asabi George, Flaherty, and Bach, as well as my colleagues in government at the state level. To everyone in the Boston Arts Academy community, the Board of Trustees, the Head of Schools, Ann Clark, dedicated teachers and staff, and of course, the students and their families. I especially want to thank Danella Clark, uh, president of the Boston Arts Academy Foundation. Danella, it is in large part because of your hard work and dedication that we are gathered here this morning. The city of Boston owes this entire BA community and Danella and Ann and others our immense gratitude, so thank you. I'm so excited to be with you all this gorgeous day. It's a little chilly, but the sun will shine and rise today. It seems like just yesterday that we were here together as we broke ground at this site. And now we've reached another milestone in this journey toward a state-of-the-art facility that our students and families deserve. As someone who was born into a family of advocates, entrepreneurs, educators, and artists, I know how important the arts are to social development and critical thinking. And for far too long, the arts have been treated as an afterthought or an add-on. But with this investment, we will have a brand new state of the arts facility and we are demonstrating our strong commitment to arts and education. Uh, to close, I'm reminded of a quote and leave you with this. He who works with his hands is a laborer. 
He who works with his hands and head is a craftsman. He who works with his hands, his head, and his heart is an artist. To all of the artists here, you make our world worth living. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Next, I'd like to introduce the Boston Public Schools School Committee Chair and BPS parent, Alexandra Oliver Davila. Ms. Oliver Davila joined the school committee in 2016 and has served as Executive Director of Sociedad Latina, a youth development organization in Roxbury since 1999. She is a champion for the city's youth and through her work has created a supportive community for Boston's Latinx families. Please welcome Alexandra Oliver Davila. Good morning, everyone. I'm so glad that it's today and not yesterday. So good call on choosing the date. Um, I want to thank Anya for her wonderful introduction uh, and congratulate her as a senior graduating and uh, going off to college. And as the mayor said, uh, we are going to welcome her and all of her um, fellow alumni back to this building to be volunteers um, and to be part, continue to be part of the community. So thank you, Anya. I also um, want to acknowledge all of the young people of Boston Arts Academy, the whole community. I know that it has been a tough year and the students have been through a lot um, this year and we remain and I remain in awe of their resilience and their strength. They're really teaching us a lesson in cre creativity every single day. So I want to thank you for inviting me to this great event. Um, and I have not attended a topping off ceremony, so this is really exciting for me to see how it all works. And I want to say on behalf of the entire school committee, uh, thank you for all you've done to get us to this great day today. We want all of our students to learn <coughs> in facilities that reflect the high expectations we know they can reach, and this facility is a powerful example of what we can accomplish. I want to say a special thank you to Mayor Walsh for his steadfast support of Boston Public Schools and his unwavering commitment to our students. His vision for what we can achieve has guided us through a public health crisis not of our making. We have simultaneously banded together in response and still kept our eye toward the future. This culminating event today, as the mayor waits word on the calling to serve his country will be a lasting reminder of his leadership. I want to say thank you to Council President uh, Janie and also uh, her colleagues, um, uh, Councilor Bach, Isabi, and Flaherty, and others. I know all of you are here today. Thank you so much uh, for your support of our students. Um, and thank you, uh, Council President, for joining us this morning. And I'm looking forward <coughs> to our continued collaboration. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I also just want to take a moment to um, thank and recognize our superintendent, Bren Brenda Caselius, and also the entire team at BPS for your partnership and focus on always doing what is best for our students. I want to also thank Ann Clark and the entire team at Boston Arts Academy, and as well as all of the students and families, and of course, Lee Pelton and all of the members of the Boston Arts Academy Foundation. I am also really grateful for the Massachusetts School Building Authority for their collaboration on this project and so many others and their investment in Boston Public Schools. Thank you, Jack McCarthy and Jim McDonald for your work and also the treasurer, De Deb Goldberg, for her leadership. And finally, I want to recognize Lee Michael Kennedy and the folks at LK Co. for their leadership in completing this project. They are the people who are building this facility and we thank you. And I, I don't want to miss anybody, but I just want to um, also just say thank you um, to Pat Brophy from the City of Boston um, Public Schools Facility for everything you've done to complete this project. And as I stand here at the base of this new school building, I'm really filled with joy and excitement for what students will accomplish together when they enter this facility for the first time and every day after that. 
I look forward to seeing students from every part of the city, from every background, and from schools across the BPS system coming together and learning and their artistic expression. I'm really excited. Um, my daughter is currently in sixth grade and her, um, her soul is the soul of an artist. She's very creative um, and she talks about going to Boston Arts Academy all the time. So I'm excited for when that day happens and I would be remiss if I did not mention um, I am also a Bar Foundation Fellow with Linda Nathan, who was one of the founders of the school, and I know um, she, she's here in our spirit today. So thank you so much um, to everybody, and a special thanks to Mayor Walsh for putting this at the priority list and for making it happen. Thank you very much. I now introduce Executive Director of the Massachusetts School Building Authority, Jack McCarthy. The MSBA is the state authority that oversees the funding of public school capital projects through the Commonwealth. The MSBA works with local communities to create affordable, sustainable, energy efficient schools across Massachusetts. Mr. McCarthy is a graduate of Boston Public Schools. He has been executive director of the MSBA for nine years and a major supporter of the Boston Arts Academy project and other city of Boston projects. Please welcome Jack McCarthy. Thank you, Anya. And the future looks pretty bright, I guess. And I'm going to get a picture with you because I, I want to be able to, when you're a rich and famous uh, Broadway star, I'm going to say, I knew her when. So, uh, so you're not getting away without a picture. Uh, on behalf of uh, Treasurer Deb Goldberg and the rest of the uh, MSBA family, thank you so much for allowing me to be part of this celebration. I'm joined today with, uh, by Jim McDonald, who's uh, not only first deputy, but he's uh, first deputy treasurer, but he's also the CEO of the MSBA. And Jim is out over there. You know, the mission of the MSBA is to partner with Massachusetts communities to support the design and construction of educationally appropriate, flexible, sustainable, and cost-effective public school facilities. And this project certainly meets that ideal. Uh, Benjamin Franklin, another uh, Boston public school student, uh, once said that inv an investment in education pays the best interest. And we at the MSBA are proud to be your investing partners to the tune of approximately $47 million in this, in this project. Um, I have to say, uh, before Marty Walsh was mayor, uh, Boston really didn't take advantage of a partnership with the MSBA. But since Marty became mayor, we, we've worked on over 30 projects now uh, with the city of Boston. We opened up the Dearborn School. We've got this one. As we got the Quincy Upper. And the one I'm most proud of, we're going to be breaking ground probably in the next year, and, and that is the Carter School down on the end of uh, Northampton Street, which... And, and I, I got to thank you for your leadership, Mr. Mayor, and for your friendship. We've, we've known each other quite a long way. We go back... Even we met actually before we ran for state rep. We worked together on construction reform and now we're building schools together. So I got to figure out how to build, uh, do something with the Secretary of Labor now. So, but th so thank you very much. And you guys hired a great team here. You know, PMA consultants, Perkins Eastman, and Lee Kennedy. Uh, the construction, everything's been going quite well. And SMMA is your commissioning agent. Um, you still have some MSBA people on the ground here, Christy Murray and Jessica Simpson. And just a little bit about the topping off ceremony. It started in Scandinavian countries, and it started when, um, you know, most buildings were made of, of wood. And so that's why that tree is on the top of that, uh, top of that beam. It was, in the old days, it was a, a, a sacrifice to appeal to the uh, spirits that dwelled in the forest uh, and kind of appease them for taking down the trees to build the building. And when it came to the United States, we added the flag. And it's really a celebration of the workers. And so I'd like to give a shout out to Local 7, or the iron workers, uh, 327, the carpenters, and 22, the laborers. And if I miss somebody, I apologize. But shout out to all the workers, because this is for you. And in closing, 
there's a, there's a saying that I like to use, and it was uh, Dan Valentine, who was a reporter for the Salt Lake City Tribune. And he once described a school as a building of four walls with tomorrow inside. And we at the MSBA are proud to be part of Boston's tomorrow. Thank you. Emerson College President Lee Pelton has served Boston Arts Academy for many years, first as our school board chair and now as the chair of the BAA Foundation Board. He has led the ambitious redevelopment of the theater district and downtown area where Emerson is located and continues to expand Emerson's innovative programming and impact. Mr. Pelton speaks regularly on the importance of a liberal arts education, civic engagement, and diversity in higher education. The BAA community is grateful for the experience and expertise and commitment that he brings to the Boston Arts Academy and Foundation. Please welcome Lee Pelton. Well, thank you very much for that introduction. You know, nearly two and a half years ago, I stood on this very site and thanked the many community leaders who helped us to get to where we are today. Uh, the groundbreaking of what would be a transformational building for Boston Arts Academy's fa fa faculty and students and staff and the Boston public school system uh, and the city uh, as well. But of course, I want to, there's been a lot of thank yous here, but I want to thank uh, especially uh, the mayor uh, and the uh, interim mayor uh, for being here. Uh, we are grateful uh, for your leadership. And to all of those that are part of the BAA community, thank you for your belief in the school's mission and your commitment to building a facility that will fill the promise of that mission and make our students and our city proud. And while we are here celebrating the construction of a building, we are really celebrating what will happen inside the building, the lives that will be transformed, the relationships that made between the teachers and the students and the young people who will see their creative talents blossom inside of these walls. 23 years ago, the Boston Arts Academy began as a collaboration between the Boston Public Schools and the Pro Arts Consortium. This is a small group of uh, colleges uh, in uh, Boston who are devoted to uh, arts as part of their curriculum. The mission of that pilot school was to create and inspire artistic and academic innovation and excellence and prepare a diverse community of students from every neighborhood of the city to become successful in their college and professional careers. And today, BAA, as we all know, is fantastically a fantastically rich community of art, of dance, of music, of creative expression, uh, of 480 students. And for six straight years, 97%, 97%, almost 100% of the graduating class has been accepted into college. And you know, that high su success rate is no accident. BAA students work hard and push themselves to achieve big things. The school provides them with a critical pathway to higher education through what I like to call the four C's. Creativity, collaboration, critical thinking, and communication. And I spoke about these four uh, pillars two and a half years ago at our Brown groundbreaking ceremony and their importance is even more profound today. Providing students with access to college and the tools to tackle society's seemingly intractable challenges, these, as we all know, are very worthy goals. But there are more uh, other important things that will happen inside this building as well that's on a personal scale. The students gaining confidence to express themselves, knowing that they are in an environment in which uh, that expression is welcome. Students gaining technical experience uh, in musical production or finding their voices on stages for the first time. These and many more will give them the great confidence that they need uh, to travel new paths and explore new passions. Our students are fabulously talented, 
as you've, as you've seen today. They're passionate and they're creative and their promise for greatness will be formed and fortified within these walls. And though the work that will take place here, through the work that will take place here, the future of the school, our school system, and our city, and even our nation will be even brighter. So I want to thank all of you uh, for your support of the Boston Arts Academy. It will continue to be a beacon of light and hope and liberty and artistic achievement for a growing student body for many years to come. And we are so very, very excited that you are here with us today to celebrate this very important milestone in the history of this great school. Thank you very much. Our last speaker today is Boston Arts Academy Head of School, Ann Clark. Ms. Clark has been at BAA since the school's beginning 23 years ago. As a founding faculty member, she has seen five generations of students graduate and continue on to college and their professional careers. Under her leadership, the students are supported in their pursuit of an arts education infused with academic rigor. And year after year, just as Mr. Pelton just said, more than 97% of our graduates are accepted to college. Please welcome Anne Clark. Good morning. Thank you, Anya. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I need to hear you this morning. You'll be pleased to hear, as Anya said, I'm, I'm the last speaker on this beautiful, cold Boston morning, and I am definitely the most emotional really the most emotional. This is a beautiful moment. Thank you so much, everyone, for your support. I want to thank uh, the chair of the Boston Arts Academy School Board, Myron Parker Barras, who is here with us today, and the co-chair of the Boston Arts Academy Family Council, Lisa McLean, who's here with us today. On behalf of the entire Boston Arts Academy community, it is my great honor to thank all of you for your support of our mission and for your investment in our students. We are incredibly grateful. Over 20 years ago, a group of dedicated, passionate, and wonderfully stubborn people came together to insist that Boston, a world cultural capital, should have a world class public arts high school. And as a founding teacher and now principal of BAA, I am thrilled to see a vision that started so many years ago under the leadership of Dr. Lyndon Nathan finally come to life. Today, as we place the final steel beam that completes our school structure, we celebrate this world-class art facility not only for our current students, but for our alumni, our families, our supporters, for the entire city of Boston, for Boston Public Schools as a whole, and for all the youth in Boston who are passionate about the arts. When we founded BAA, we wanted to create a school that would provide opportunities for Boston's next generation of artists. And my favorite thing about being at BAA for over 20 years is that I can't go to a cultural event in the city now without seeing our alums performing, exhibiting, behind the scenes, organizing the event, funding the event, directing the event, or just in the audience. This new building will ensure that BAA will continue to be a place of opportunity for Boston's next generation of creative change makers for many, many years to come. So it has been said earlier today, this building will increase the quantity and quality of rehearsal studios available for dance, theater, and music. It will have a state-of-the-art fashion program, visual arts studios, the latest STEAM and technology resources, and it will have an amazing performance space, a rooftop recital hall, a black box theater, and right behind us, 
a 500-seat professional theater. Yeah, round of applause for that theater. So this new school, in short, will allow us to expand opportunities. In addition to expanding our student population, this new building will allow us to expand our reach beyond our students. We look forward to increasing our outreach programming for elementary and middle school students all over the city. Our wonderful student body president, Anya, is just one of many, many BA students who are excited today. Our students are diverse, passionate, smart, and talented. Many go on to be artists, but many use their artistic and interdisciplinary education they receive at BAA to become Boston's next leaders in other fields. Um, after over 20 years, we have graduates who are aeronautical engineers, nurses, teachers, product designers, and no matter where they go, our graduates say that the confidence and training that an arts-based education instilled in them is something they carry with them throughout their lives. So thank you so much for making this investment in their future. Thanks once again to the City of Boston, the MSBA, the BPS, our pro arts partners, our alumni, our board, our families, our amazing students, our funders and supporters. Thank you for coming out here today to, inf to affirm that the arts matter, Boston's youth matter, and that Boston Arts Academy will continue to make a difference and to create opportunities for decades to come. Thank you so much, everyone. And now it is my great pleasure to introduce Danella Clark, president of the Boston Arts Academy Foundation, who will join me in presenting a gift to our great friend, Mayor Walsh, for his incredible support of BAA. We want you to take a little BAA with you wherever you go. Danella, will you do the honors?
second and first one. Thank you.